So here we see our application. We have uh, a microphone icon in the middle. We have a button to start recording, button to stop recording. We have a button for playing back what we recorded, as well as stopping the playback. Start recording, make sure that we also stop playing if we were playing something before, before we start recording. We go ahead and grab the default audio capture device and stick it into the F microphone variable. If we successfully got a hold of the microphone, then we set the file name that we're going to record to. We call start capture and we change the bitmap. If we fail to get a microphone, then we simply put up a message saying no microphone is available. Stop recording calls stop capture if we were currently capturing. We also set the recording image to be off. The play button, we create a T-Media player, point it to the test.caf file in the documents folder, and we'll go ahead and play that if we successfully got a hold of a media player component and the file was found. The stop button calls the stop method of the media player and then frees up the media player component. On my device, the application looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and hit the start recording button. Recording and playing back audio files with Rad Studio XT4 is very easy. Okay, we'll go ahead and click stop recording. Now we'll go ahead and click the playback button. Recording and playing back audio files with Rad Studio XT4 is very easy. And that's how easy it is to record and play back audio files.